<laughs> gotcha. It's me. How's your first day of work going? What do you think of my office chair form? I worked really hard on it. Do you have any idea how hard it is to make wheels that work right? I've never had so many feet before. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course it's me. How many other mimics did you buy from Ikea? I'm just here because I wanted to wish you good luck at your new job. And, you know, I may have been worried a bit. Not because I thought you'd have a bad time. More like, you know... I've had a lot of rough first days myself. Not knowing anybody. Not fitting in. Accidentally driving up precious metal futures. Ugh, I hate feeling that way. So I thought, why not have a little slice of home with you when you go today? So, here I am. <laughs> Your loyal, awesome office chair. Everybody's going to be like, wow, this newbie must be important. Look at that chair. I wish I was cool enough to have a chair with that much lumbar support. It looks so comfortable. And, you know, other chair-related compliments. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling especially soft today. Did you know they got you donuts for your first day? Mm-hmm. There were like six whole boxes of them in the break room. I was thinking, wow, big spenders, that is way too many donuts for one person. And, well, I've been so worried about you, I've hardly eaten all week. I may or may not have had a donut or two. Okay, fine. I had like five boxes of donuts. I've got such a sugar rush right now. Uh, well, yeah, I'm a worrier. I worry about all sorts of stuff. Like, the first time you fell asleep, I basically couldn't breathe, remember? You were so still, I thought something was wrong. I didn't sleep a wink. I just knew that... As long as you were breathing, everything was okay. So I couldn't stop listening, just to make sure. Isn't it funny how things turn out? I thought I wouldn't sleep last night either, with today being such a big day. But you get used to things, you know? I was listening to you breathe, and it was nice. <laughs> And there's this little tremble from your heartbeat. Mmm, I could listen to that all night. What? What's the big deal? It's not some big love confession or something. I'm way too cool for that. But I do like you. As a person... You're neat. I wish I could just goof off with you all the time. If I can't goof off with you because you're busy, though, then I still would like to be around you, if that's okay. I just want to be useful. I guess it doesn't really matter what shape I'm in. Couch or bed or chair. So long as I can feel good about what I'm able to do for you. Anyway, how are you feeling? I checked your calendar. You should have another ten minutes before the big meet and greet. Are you nervous? <laughs> I think I could help you relax a bit. Did you want to try my massage function? <laughs> You know, I never could really get the hang of moving parts more complicated than a hinge. Anything I wanted to move, it's all 
muscles under the surface. But those little wheels on my legs, those are real wheels. I've been practicing so much, I really, really applied myself. Like I made this little motor that has all these gizmos and, oh my god, you have no idea how many massage chair manuals I had to pirate. I mean, acquire. By very legal means. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, very legal. Uh, I don't really have a lot of money to spend. I feel so bad just using yours to buy groceries for the both of us. I wanted to do this by myself. Anytime you need to relax and de-stress, you can just turn me on and I'll do the rest. I mean, uh, well, you know what I mean. (laughs) I just get a little excited sometimes. And I definitely ate way too many donuts. So why don't you try me out? You can just use that little switch by your elbow. That very fancy little switch right there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. It feels tingly. Okay, we're going to start with the roller on your neck. Lay all the way back. It's okay. You can close your eyes if you want. There's a lot of deep muscles in the neck. Gotta be really strong to support that big brain of yours. (laughs) That thing must be heavy. So you need lots of gentle, firm pressure to release that tension. Sometimes the muscles can lock in place... We're just going to help let them go. I've got you. Just completely relax. You'll sink into me, and I'll hold your head nice and still for you. Okay? Hmm. I like cradling your head. It's just really satisfying when I feel you let go a little more. And then a little bit more. (laughs) Until you're nice and comfy and cozy with me. And then we can just let the roller carefully work the sides of your neck. I know you have to be very careful with the spine, so no unnecessary pressure near your bones. We're just trying to decompress those joints, just using the weight of your body. Letting your neck muscles get soft and floppy. (laughs) I'm like a big noodle. Mm, There you go. Who's the cutie with the noodle neck? (laughs) Does it feel good? Just feeling the rollers go up and down. Hmm. You must have been a puppy or something in your past life. Based off how blissed out you are now. (laughs) Hmm, I like it. Okay, let's work a little bit on your shoulders now. It's going to be a sort of... gentle compressing motion. There's a lot of tender spots in your shoulders. Knots, I think they're called. 
Do you know why that is? It seems very silly to me, having all those muscles bunched up for no reason. I think... There's one right here. Is that a little sensitive? I see. Then let's take this really, really slowly. Just a slight compression. And release. Was that okay? Great. Let's do another little compression. And release. There we go. I think you're starting to loosen up. Okay, again, another compression. And release. You're smiling, aren't you? You can't hide it from me. I know you are. Today is your big day. And you're right where you need to be. The world's your oyster. I'm gonna be rooting for you, you know? <laughs> Even if you get knots in your shoulders for no reason. It's not a problem. We're gonna work them all out, just like this. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, wait, don't get up yet. I'm not done. Please, just five more minutes. I really gotta fix your back. You've got this tiny bit of tension that I think I can help with. Just take a nice, deep breath for me. Good, that's so good. Do that again, but this time pay attention to how the alignment of your spine changes as your lungs inflate. And I'm just going to run the roller down your spine as you breathe out. It's gotten quite warm at this point. It should feel like a nice, cozy wave of pressure. Gently starting at the small of your back, rolling down past your waist, and all the way down to your tailbone. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Did your back just pop? Oh my, you must have needed that. Oh, you're slipping. <laughs> Don't let me push you onto the floor, cutie. <laughs> Lean back a little bit more. I'll take the roller back up to your shoulders. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Is that nice? You're just a little puddle of a human now, aren't you? I have to admit, I'm a little bit proud of myself. Seeing you all limp and sleepy. It's like, the more I massage you, the more out of it you get. And I just can't think of anything nicer than that. Mm, I've got you. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm going to be with you, and I will always support you, <laughs> especially that lumbar support. Repetitive strain injuries are no joke, you know. 
I'm going to keep you upright and proper so you can do all that tippy typing on the computer and still feel great by the end of the day. So when you get home, you'll still have enough energy to play Mario Kart with me and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, you got me. I just don't want you to be drained when you get home. So when you hang out with me, you'll be able to still have a good time. Is that selfish? Maybe. Oh, are you all done? I guess I've kept you long enough. You have a meeting to get to. I'll see you soon. Make a good impression.